Chairman, thank you. Honored Commissioners, my dear fellow citizens, it is indeed an honor to speak to you with you today on so important a subject. No one here today thinks more highly of your resolve and dedication to protect and defend the very basic God-given rights of our citizens. We know in your heart of hearts, your soul cries out for the right answers to the questions presented. In the matter before you today, you must have no less than the courage of David and wisdom of Solomon. The history of our great country is one of a constant struggle to sustain the delicate balance, defending our great nation while preserving our rights. We cannot have one without the other. We must be constantly vigilant in maintenance of the delicate balance. We are very proud of your commitment and dedication to this end. I fought for my country in multiple foreign wars. I did not fight for my country on the fields of battle to see our God-given rights taken away. The role of government is to protect our rights, not take them away. We should be reminded of some of those rights. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, the right of the people to peacefully assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances which we here exercise today. The National Defense Authorization Act infringes on our rights, the right of each person to due process, the right of each person to be secure in their persons, homes, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures, and the right of each person accused of a crime to be confronted with witnesses against him or her. The National Defense Authoriz Authorization Act, while well-intentioned, declares these rights null and void. You, as our elected officials, have sworn an oath to defend those rights, not take them away. My dear friends, the death of a nation happens with a whisper and a nudge, patiently and stealthily, robbing its unsuspecting citizens of inalienable rights and replacing them with government controls, for the good of the people, of course. Only when it is too late to turn back the clock does a nation realize that freedom has vanished in the blink of an eye. We ask you today for the courage to defend us against our imposing giant and the wisdom to maintain that delicate balance between our God-given rights and defense of our great nation. We ask you today to preserve and protect our rights honoring your sworn oath and declare those attempts to limit or relinquish our God-given rights null and void. We ask you today to strive valiantly and dare greatly to ensure the sound of liberty may be heard by future generations. Thank you.